Hello everyone, Assalamu Alaikum. My name is Rafa Razik and welcome to my channel. Uh, today's video is going to be an interesting art tutorial. So not talking further, um, let's begin the work. And before I begin, I'll be showing you all the products that I've used to make this particular art piece. And also, I list out the products that doesn't necessarily mean that you should be using the products that I've used brand wise because there are so many brands all over. So I recommend that you try out the beautiful brands that are accessible to you and you can experiment them and, uh, and see which one suits you. Also I've listed out all the products in the description box below. So firstly um, we need a stretched canvas and this is of size 60 by 60 centimeters. You can see this. I got this on Amazon and then um, I have used a canvas primer. So this is it. Well, many of you ask me why why should we use a canvas primer because this is um, to prime your canvas to prep your canvas also um, this will make the uh, surface smoother and the, the pores will be covered it will be minimized and etc so since i'm going to do an arabic calligraphy art piece um, my columns will glide really smooth on the canvas when i use a primer okay so this is a primer and this is from the brand camel so guess what primer um, last time i used another brand this time it's another brand so keep trying out different materials then after that i used some acrylic paints you can also use oil paint but i don't know much about oil paints i think oil paints are thicker and for canvas i personally use acrylic tubes i've used three colors one is a prussian blue and then I've used cobalt teal and a titanium white. So this is almost over because I've used it the most. I'll show you the brushes, uh, mainly this brush for your background. And you can even use a smaller one. The wider your canvas gets, the wider your brush gets. So that way it will be easier for you to uh, paint it up. And then I've used this thin brush. Okay, you can see. And then I've used my colors. Now this is my set of silly columns. Silly columns. Um, those who follow me on Instagram know that I rave about the silly columns. These are made of Turkish wood. These are my column set. I have a set of 10. I have used a varnish, an artist picture varnish from the brand Arfina. I hope you can see it. Many of you ask me why a varnish. Now you need to know that your painting or the artwork you're going to create is a very valuable, should be valuable and it's not something you do uh, just for the sake of doing it. So it has to be kept safe. It should be worth the quality and worth the effort. I've shown you all the products so now let's start the work. So here I am unpacking my canvas which I ordered from Amazon. Now there are so many options to get your canvases from. It can be from an online store or from a local store. Um, after that I am going to prime it. So I think I have mentioned it before that when you need a dark background uh, you have to prime it with a dark primer and if, if you need a lighter background you can use a white primer. So here my background is going to be something dark. Uh, I think I am going to create a galaxy background so I'm using my black using primer. your flat brush make sure that you have evenly coated the primer all over the canvas now especially on the areas where you are going to write on the top of it uh, with a column because you need your columns to be smooth on the surface and after you have uh, finished one coat um, you can wait for a while and also add another coat up to you uh, two to three coats are usually painted wait until it has dried out and start your background layer now i have used the acrylic tubes that i mentioned earlier in the beginning of the video and i'm going to create a galaxy background i'm smudging all these i'm mixing all these uh, colors and creating a background of my choice always keep in mind whenever you do something large something vast you need to uh, make sure that it's distributed evenly on the whole surface. I mean, your background should not look incomplete at the edges or um, at the top part, unless you have uh, purposely decided to do it that way. But in this case, I am trying to evenly coat it. Uh, I'm trying to get the effect complete even at the edges of the stretched canvas. So when you take a stretched canvas, you'll have some edges on all four sides. So I am even, you can see me 
doing the um, background exactly like the one at the top on the edges so that it looks complete otherwise it might look incomplete and a little unfinished and dirty. Now the choice of colors uh, depends on what colors you would like to show on your background. So I've used a pinch of red and pink here. I just want to break the solid blue here and just add a little life to my canvas. Make sure you are evenly distributing your coverage all over the canvas even at the edges. This is a very important point to keep in mind. After each step make sure that you have kept it to dry. And now here I take a toothbrush and I dip it in uh, some white diluted acrylic paints and I start uh, just spraying it over the canvas like you can see here. This is nothing fancy, it's very simple. Just dip your brush and uh, just spray it with your fingers. That's done. I've let it dry overnight and here I am ahead with my next step. That is the lettering part. Definitely you'll need a ruler especially when you're writing on a seamless canvas which has no finish line or end line and especially if you want to do uh, something elongated or something which has a linear form. So I'm doing something like that. I'm composing my canvas which is very essential. You need to make sure that your canvas fits well the proportion is fine the writing is not too big the background is not too small you need to make sure that it has equal um, distance from all all the sides if that's what you intend to do that's done moving on to the writing part I'm mixing some diluted white acrylic paint with a brush and then I dip my columns and start writing before doing this make sure that you take a pencil and also write on top of this Now I don't um, always write with a pencil but uh, I've done that here after this line. Um, basically I tape two pencils and stick it together, I mean tape it, I mean stick it together and write on the canvas and then follow this with a column. Now when you render on a canvas, let me tell you something, um, it's not so easy compared to what you do on a glossy paper or an aha paper or a hemp paper that is calligraphy paper mainly because a uh, canvas has a different texture it has a um, different consistency even when you um, when you keep this on a table and do you need to know that uh, you it, it has to be comfortable the rendering should be comfortable your sitting position should be comfortable the table should be comfortable um, even that um, even things like um, your hand rubbing over the um, undried portion that makes it uncomfortable so what I do is I do this on and off um, I take breaks um, now you can see that I'm using my pencils to render the rest of the portion because I don't always use pencils um, depends on what uh, sometimes I I might feel like I need to use the pencils to get it better so I do that anyway you can see that I do it on and off in the remaining portion of the video um, so these are the things that you need to keep in mind um, your your sitting position your hands and uh, your paint and the timeline and everything so there's no point in hurrying it there's no point in hurrying with anything I take breaks um, I let it dry I let it cool then I come back um, maybe it takes uh, days maybe it takes weeks by the time you finish this video you'll realize that I have filmed this tutorial taking different parts of the day, uh, different days, different timings, etc. Uh, uh, I don't uh, hurry up. There's no point in hurrying up because you need to get the perfection, you need to get the finishing, especially on a canvas. Now, I could uh, finish something like this in a day when it comes to a glossy paper or a calligraphy paper, but this is a stretch canvas art and that's why I've done a detailed tutorial. I don't think I've skipped any steps while showing you all because I always get uh, DMs asking me what you did after that, what did you do after this. So 
I thought I'll film the maximum possible. I think in between I must have run out of memory. I mean the camera must have run out of mem- memory and uh, just like that I've missed some portions but otherwise I've tried to capture all these steps. See basically um, I did this tutorial because I know that maybe 5% of my my followers would be watching this that's it. But those 5% should get the maximum value. uh because um you need to know that it's not something it's not a piece of cake it's not something you can finish just within a day and you know pack and give it to whoever you want to so i take my breaks um uh, i sit for a while and then i get up when i get bored i go i go have a snack um i go with my baby or maybe out or maybe do the other works and then i come back again meanwhile i I'm happy that uh, when you take breaks you're actually giving it time to naturally dry out. So that's one thing. And so do not hurry up sometimes it takes days sometimes weeks and but that is finally the the final uh thing the final importance goes to the final finished product especially when it comes to canvas art. <clears throat> Now I could have done something like this in a day when it comes to a glossy paper or a calligraphy paper. Uh but when it comes to canvas it's a canvas art this is a canvas art tutorial so this is not something which you can finish um in no time uh, actually when i film this video i know that not all of my followers would be watching it maybe just 5% would be watching it completely but then i thought that 5% should get the maximum result out of this and hence i don't think i've skipped any step deliberately moving on um, i'm using a fabric outliner um this is an acrylic outliner as well uh, you can get it in any local store stationery store it's called a fabric out i think i missed to um mention this in the products so i'll be writing that in the description below After this I'm filling out the missed out parts. Now you might be wondering why I kept that aside. Nothing much. The paint was not dry there, so I was not comfortable writing it there. So I waited that the paint be dry and then maybe I can continue. Now, this is all personal choice uh because that is Allah and I think Allah is the most difficult uh, word for me <laughs> to write. So I always want it to be the safest possible so that uh, nothing goes wrong. Uh, whatever i try uh, how however i try it doesn't come out perfect so i kept it <laughs> towards the end i hope you all know that for the harkat you need to use a kalam with a smaller chisel tip done with that again moving on now i'm going to darken all the letters uh, because i prefer a high pigmentation because that makes the letters stand out um for me background is something secondary because for me the meaning and the words and the letters uh, are something that should stand out and hence i wanted to stand out really well that all the concentration and the focus goes on it i use a round brush and i'm darkening and filling it up all this is because this is a canvas art if you are using if you want to do on a paper or a smooth paper glossy paper or calligraphy paper um, then uh, all these steps are not there so again those who watch this video please don't think that this is a pakka calligraphy tutorial as it is because this is also an art um art mixed tutorial because uh, when you want to do on a canvas because this is something which is been asked to me by so many uh, girls who follow me on instagram a lot of people ask me to put this tutorial so this is for them
almost done with the first coating um what i usually do is after i arrive with the kalam i give a coating like this with a brush and then i give a second coating to finalize or to finish the edges now that to me is very important because uh you might skip it you might skip it out but see this is the step what i was talking about i am finishing it i'm finally finishing the edges making it uh, pointed or maybe making it precise so that the letters get all the focus the words or the wording gets all the focus for me that's very very important and this takes the maximum time uh, there were times where i just felt like quitting it up but no that's not how you do it this makes a lot of difference too like you can compare with the canvas which you have finished and not finished especially if you're using a brush or if you want a pigmentation for me i like it like this and you'll definitely see the result once i'm done with this um, maybe you must have seen the picture already on instagram but once i've done finished this you can feel that the words are really standing out the words protrude the, the words have a have a feeling there and that's exactly what i always keep in mind when i start doing an art project After this I like to keep it for drying for as many days as possible maybe for weeks because natural drying is the best and here after drying I am spraying my matte varnish spray and I'm done spray two to three coats after drying so thank you assalam alaikum